Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into pivotal moments in history. Today we explore the Battle of Badr, a defining confrontation between the early Muslims and the Quraysh of Mecca that shaped the course of Islamic history. The year was 624 CE. After the migration from Mecca to Medina, known as the Hijra, the Muslim community was still vulnerable. They faced constant threats from the Quraysh tribe who sought to undermine Muhammad's growing influence. In this climate of tension, a significant caravan was led by Abu Sufyan, carrying valuable goods, including 500 gold coins. This caravan was crucial, not only for its wealth, but also because it represented the goods taken from the Muslims when they were forcibly expelled from Mecca. Abu Sufyan, a respected and strategic leader of the Quraysh, was acutely aware of the Muslim threat. His caravan was an economic lifeline for the Quraysh, and the potential loss of this convoy could weaken their financial position significantly. This situation was more than a simple trade route encounter. It was a matter of reclaiming lost honor and possessions. The goods in the caravan had originally belonged to the Muslims, making this interception a deeply personal quest for justice. In Medina, the atmosphere was charged with anticipation. The Muslims, led by Prophet Muhammad, recognized the caravan's route as an opportunity to reclaim what was rightfully theirs. The Prophet called upon his companions, urging them to prepare for a potential confrontation. The Muslim force, numbering around 313, comprised not only warriors, but also individuals who had sacrificed everything for their faith. They were united by a strong sense of purpose, and their resolve would soon be tested. As the Muslims gathered, they strategized their approach. Muhammad emphasized the importance of faith and unity. He assured his companions that they would not be fighting alone, as they believed divine support would aid them. The Muslims set out towards Badr, ready to confront the caravan. Meanwhile, Abu Sufyan, realizing the danger, altered his route to avoid the Muslims and quickly sent a messenger to Mecca requesting reinforcements. He employed traditional methods of signaling urgency, cutting the ears and noses of his camels and tearing his clothes, signaling for immediate help at the Kaaba. Back in Mecca, Abu Jal, one of the most ardent opponents of Muhammad and the Muslims, rallied a force of approximately 1,000 men to protect the caravan. He underestimated the determination and tactical advantage the Muslims had gained. Abu Yahal's confidence led him to believe that victory was assured, and he was driven by a desire not just to defend the caravan, but to crush the nascent Muslim community once and for all. On the day of battle, the Muslims reached the wells near Badr, a strategic location that provided them with a significant advantage. Controlling the water supply was crucial, as the Quraysh were forced to attack uphill, which added to their disadvantage. As the two forces faced each other, the tension was palpable. The Quraysh, heavily armed and confident, were met by a small but fiercely committed group of Muslims. The initial skirmishes were intense, and key figures from both sides stepped forward to challenge each other. The battle began with single combat, where champions from both sides faced off. Among the Muslim warriors were notable figures like Hamza, the Prophet's uncle, Ali and Ubaid. The fighting was fierce, and although the Muslims were outnumbered, their faith and unity bolstered their spirits. As the battle progressed, the Muslims employed a defensive strategy. They fought valiantly, standing their ground against the Quraysh. For every Muslim that fell, several Quraysh warriors were killed, showcasing the effectiveness of their tactics and the morale of the Muslim fighters. As the battle wore on, the Quraysh forces began to falter. Their confidence turned to panic when they realized they were unable to overpower the Muslims. The Muslims' disciplined formation and defensive tactics proved effective against the larger army. The turning point came when Abu Jahl was killed. His death was not only a significant loss for the Quraysh, but also a morale boost for the Muslims. With their leader gone, the Quraysh forces began to retreat, marking a remarkable victory for the Muslims. The aftermath of Badr was both celebratory and somber. The Muslims returned to Medina, victorious against overwhelming odds. However, for Prophet Muhammad, the joy was mixed with personal grief as he learned of the death of his daughter, Rukaya, during his absence. The victory at Bada had profound implications. It shifted the balance of power in Arabia, elevating Muhammad's status from a leader of a marginalized community to a respected military figure. The perception of Muslims changed. They were no longer seen as weak and helpless, but as a formidable force. 
In the months following the battle, the Quraysh, seeking revenge, gathered a larger army of around 3,000 men, leading to subsequent conflicts. The Battle of Badr not only set the stage for future confrontations, such as the Battle of Uhud, but also emphasized the importance of unity and faith in the face of adversity. The victory at Badr became a symbol of resilience and the power of collective belief. It showed that determination, strategic planning and unity could enable a smaller group to overcome a larger adversary. The Battle of Badr remains a landmark in Islamic history, representing the triumph of faith and the enduring spirit of the early Muslim community. This battle reshaped the future of the Muslim community and laid the groundwork for the expansion of Islam across Arabia. If you found this story inspiring, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more historical narratives. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history.